vehicle continues driving on the wrong side of the road. Uh, on uh, passing San Vicente, we're actually on San Vicente now, continuing more southeastbound. The vehicle still on the wrong side of the road, coming out the other side of that building here. San Vicente Boulevard in orange and that Bell PD unit staying very close behind as we cross over, still deciding to stay on the wrong side of the road. That suspect didn't have to stay on the wrong side of the road. There was room on the right side of the road, but he continues in that wrong direction. All right, we're going more in an easterly direction now. He's on Wilshire going eastbound now, on Wilshire going eastbound. The tall buildings here on Wilshire Boulevard making it a little difficult to keep eyes on this vehicle. Looks like he's possibly continuing on a road just north of Wilshire. It looks like Orange Street. And now he's coming out southbound, coming southbound now on McCarthy, just south of Wilshire. Still driving on the wrong side of the road, coming under us now, continuing southbound. Going around that corner there and that Bell PD unit, those multiple units from Bell PD, not giving any distance there, still deciding, making a conscious decision to go on the wrong side of the road. And those two units, they're not going to go on the wrong side of the road, but they're going to keep a close eye on where this suspect is. And he pulls off, he pulls off a side street there on Barrows, and those units are going to keep on following him there. They're being aided by the L.A. County Sheriff's Police Helicopter, or Sheriff's Helicopter that's overhead. And it looks like we're at a dead end here. This is a dead end road, and this suspect is going to take that Lexus off-roading and take us onto Fairfax Avenue. Now it looks like we're going northbound now, northbound on Fairfax. And those units from Bell PD, as I look out of the helicopter, they're doing the same thing, and they're hopping that uh, corner and getting on Fairfax too. We're keeping an eye on the suspect here to make sure that we don't lose eyes on him. And it looks like we're going northbound now. Approaching. We're going to approach Wilshire Boulevard again. That night sun from the L.A. County Sheriff's helicopter staying right on top of this suspect. The suspect kind of sitting on the wrong side of the road thinking about it. And then on the gas again continuing eastbound now. And those PD units somehow finding their way to stay right behind this suspect. Out of Bell PD, the city of Bell, about 10 or so miles to the south or southeast of here. So they've come a long way. And you can kind of see why, because of the uh, very erratic driving that we're seeing from this suspect on the wrong side of the road yet again making the conscious decision to stay on the wrong side of the road if you're on wilshire boulevard if you know someone that's on wilshire boulevard tell them to get off it because this is a very dangerous situation where you have this suspect here driving recklessly and through that intersection there through burnside and wilshire there was some cross traffic there this other intersection we're making a northbound turn dunsmuir away from wilshire going northbound now Looks like he's gotten a little bit of distance on those uh, Bell PD units. And there they are right behind him. 6th Street making a right turn on that intersection. That cross traffic smartly deciding to stop and let those PD units around as we continue eastbound now. Eastbound on 6th Street. And again, making the conscious decision to stay on the wrong side of the road. Some cross traffic there. That cross traffic slamming on the brakes. And we're continuing westbound on 6th. Westbound on 6th through La Brea. Looks like the suspect thinking about a turn there, but continuing again, making the conscious decision to stay on the wrong side of the road. But it doesn't appear that he is trying to hit other vehicles. He's trying to avoid the cross, the uh, oncoming traffic. But those units from Bell PD, they're not going to even risk going on the wrong side of the road. They're going to stay on the right side of the road, but still stay very close behind this suspect. 6th and Highland now going through that intersection. A little bit of cross traffic there, forcing the suspect to go on the right side of the road. 6th and McCadden Place through the Mid-Wilshire District. Looks like as we zoom in here, there might be some damage there on the left rear quarter panel. We don't have information uh, of 
what may have caused that. It is certainly possible that Bell PD had a uh, uh, enacted a pit maneuver earlier on. So a little unusual for these units from the city of Bell to be this far out of their jurisdiction, but they may know something. This may be a wanted suspect. Uh, as far as we know, they started this pursuit because the driver was driving recklessly, but there could be other details to that that uh, we just haven't heard yet. Continuing eastbound on 6th Street through Lucerne. Wrong side of the road again through that intersection. Got some sparks there. Must have hit a hump in the intersection. Looks like sparks are continuing from that left rear quarter panel. So whatever damage was caused earlier, now it looks like it's rubbing on something. Oh, a hard right turn onto Irvine Boulevard, one of the more residential side streets going southbound now. Possibly coming back onto Wilshire Boulevard and going east now. Continuing east. I see those three units from Bell PD still behind this suspect. Going in the left-hand turn lane now. Weaving around some traffic there. Those PD units doing their best to stay close behind. And again, making the conscious decision to go the wrong way. That PD unit getting stuck behind some traffic there. But I'm sure he's going to use his lights and sirens to get around him. We're continuing eastbound on Wilshire. A little bit further, we'll get into Koreatown. It's a busy Friday night. A lot of people are going to be out and about making a move around that bus on the shoulder going the wrong way and just kind of weaving through this wrong way traffic. And it's just a miracle that this traffic is going slow enough that it doesn't appear that uh, there's been uh, too many close calls. As we continue eastbound in the wrong way, and you can see that unit there from Bell PD continuing close behind on the right side of the road. Making a sharp right turn. Looks like the driver saw some oncoming traffic to get around the median there. And there was that oncoming traffic as we continue eastbound on Wilshire Boulevard. Copy that. Okay, my pilot, Maury's telling me uh, we, we're going to do our best to hold this shot as long as we can, but we're on the edge of I wouldn't because of the, uh, the uh, buildings. Stay here because of the buildings. Yeah, stay here because of the buildings. If he continues eastbound on Wilshire, we'll be able to hold a shot on him. But uh, the Dodgers have their TFR up right now. So the Dodgers have a flight restriction during the games. Last I checked, it was bottom of the seventh. We still see some sparks there from that vehicle. We're going to hope that this car makes a turn off of Wilshire because as long as he continues eastbound on Wilshire, we're not going to be able to stay right behind him. Uh, but we're going to hold this shot for as long as we can. Once again, this is because the Dodgers have a temporary flight restriction in effect during game times, and that actually lasts an hour after the game. Uh, oh, and there's a there's a Metro bus crossing the intersection right there. Looks like Wilshire and Vermont, but that suspect finds a way to navigate around that, and those PD units staying right behind him. Again, going on the wrong side of the road. Making a northbound turn, northbound on Virgil. Now this may help. Uh, this may help us if uh, he continues northbound enough to get us out of that Dodgers uh, temporary flight restriction. I'm going to try and keep a lookout for where that uh, sheriff's helicopter is because they're staying close to this. Bear with us up here in Air 7. Uh, Brian, our photographer, is keeping this pursuit right in the uh, right within view of the camera on Air 7 HD. And it looks like if he continues northbound, we might be able to clear this uh, temporary flight restriction that the Dodgers have in place right now. Hopefully this guy comes west, because that'll make it easier on us. But no, it looks like he's continuing north on Virgil.
See if we could track north a little bit more with it. Oh, it looks like he made an east, possibly an eastbound turn there, and that's that's an area we can't go, uh, only because of that flight restriction that's in place right now. I'm not sure if that's the 101. No, that's not the 101. That's That'll go under the 101. I believe that's Silver Lake Boulevard. He's continuing eastbound on Silver Lake Boulevard. If he does get on the 101, southbound 101, southbound 101 now. So unfortunately, southbound 101 will take us deeper into the TFR, but if he continues, you know, maybe we can catch him on the outside. Exiting. Continuing eastbound now, that looks like Temple Street. Deeper and deeper into this TFR. We're still lined up in a way that uh, we should be able to keep this driver in the, uh, in the eyes of Air 7 HD. Copy. We are working with air traffic control to see if we can get on the other side of this Dodgers TFR as we lose the pursuit around a corner where Temple kind of corners around uh, tracking the 101 southbound. Oh, very close to some oncoming traffic there. Copy. If you're wondering why we have this uh, distant shot, it doesn't appear that the pursuit is... Excuse me. Uh, it doesn't appear that this pursuit has gotten on the freeway, but uh, I'm uh, monitoring a couple of radio frequencies here where we're trying to do our best in Air 7 HD to get up and over the flight restrictions that the Dodgers have in place for the Dodger game. Once we do that, hopefully we'll be able to get a better view of this pursuit. In the meantime, please stay with us. We will be monitoring this, and we'll hold the shot up for as long as we can. We're being held by air traffic control to the east as this pursuit continues almost into downtown. Brian, our photographer, doing an amazing job keeping uh, what, uh, as much as we can see of this pursuit through the buildings <clears throat> and from a distance. 
in our frame of view. It looks like he's con uh, continuing southbound. Possibly that's going to be Figueroa through downtown. But once again, it's that time of year, baseball season. We always look forward to that, but the only thing we don't look forward to is these temporary flight restrictions that are in place over every Major League Baseball game and a lot of uh, sporting events that have large groups, large congregations of spectators. But once again, we're working with air traffic control at various levels having to do with LAX and uh, the uh, groups that manage airspace over LAX. We do believe this pursuit is continuing. monitoring a few different things up here in Air 7 HD, talking to uh, the police helicopters and various air traffic control centers. Looks like uh, in the crypto.com arena area. Got a couple black and whites there with lights and sirens. coming up on the south side of downtown. I do believe that the suspect might be going up and down Figueroa through the downtown area. So we're gonna get on the south side of that, on the south side of the flight restrictions. And see if we can get eyes on the driver. And there you have it, just in time, just as we got around some of the buildings here, somehow Bell PD has this car stopped. Not exactly sure how this pursuit came to an end, but you have officers out of their vehicles with guns drawn. It appears that the suspect is hanging out of his door. Those officers are going to go on the right side. Oh, it looks like the suspect's actually... Looks like the suspect is actually on the ground. And we're hearing a code four from those Bell PD officers on the ground. They're taking that suspect into custody, standing the suspect up now and making sure he doesn't have any weapons on him or anything of that nature. It doesn't appear that there was a crash or anything of that nature that led up to this pursuit or led up to the termination of this pursuit. And you just have those three units from Bell PD that were behind this guy the entire time little bit out of their jurisdiction, but uh, staying behind the suspect nonetheless and bringing him into custody. Live over downtown in Air 7 HD, I'm Gabe Santos with pilot Maury and photographer Brian signing off for now.